a tutorial on the BJT in DC. The BJT can function in one of three modes of operation. In linear mode, it works as a current amplifier. In saturation mode, it resembles a closed switch. In cutoff mode, it acts as an open switch. Each one of those modes has its own model, its own uh, equivalent circuit to represent the BJT. Let's remember what they look like. In linear mode and DC, the transistor and NPN is represented by a very simple circuit, one voltage source that ensures that the base is higher than the emitter by 0 0.7 volts and uh, a control current source that represents the current gain characteristic of the transistor. The collector current is beta times IB. Beta is the current gain, which appears sometimes in manufacturer's data sheets as HFE with uppercase F and uppercase E. If you find it with lowercase f and lowercase e, it means something else. In cutoff mode, the equivalent circuit is even simpler. An open circuit between the base and the emitter, and another open circuit between the emitter and the collector. Finally, in saturation mode, there is no current amplification. The transistor merely maintains the collector 0.2 volts higher than the emitter and the base 0.7 volts above the emitter. The question is, how do we know what is the mode of operation of a given BJT? It's easy. The first thing we do is we replace the BJT by its equivalent circuit for linear mode, this one. And then we solve the circuit using MNA or loop analysis or whatever. And after that, we check the base current. Yes, we check IB. If it's flowing out of the transistor for an NPN transistor, or into the transistor for a PNP transistor, that is, if IB is negative, then the BJT is in cutoff mode, in cut-off mode, and its actual base current is zero. That's right. By the way, its collector current is also zero in that case. What's next? Well, then we have to replace the equivalent circuit that we had put there already by the cutoff model and we recompute the circuit. That's what's next. How's that? We we'll replace the transistor with this model, the linear one. We we'll solve the circuit for this current, this one, IB. If that current is negative, like so, this is an NPN transistor. Then the BJT is in cutoff mode and we'll replace this linear model with this other model, with the cutoff model. And then we solve the entire circuit again. But what happens when the current IB is not negative? Well, in that case, if that current IB is a positive value, so it's flowing in the right direction, then what we do is we compute VCE, the collector emitter of voltage. If that voltage is greater than 0.2 volts, the transistor is in linear mode. However, if that voltage is less than or equal to 0.2 volts, the BJT is in saturation mode. In this last case, we have to replace the BJT by its saturation model and recompute the entire circuit. Come again? Well, we compute this voltage here. You see, if this current is positive, we compute the voltage VCE collector to emitter. If that voltage is higher than 0.2 volts, we leave the linear mode circuit. 
because the transistor is in linear mode. It's working as an amplifier. However, if VCE is less or equal to 0.2 volts, we replace the BJT with this equivalent circuit, this one, the saturation equivalent circuit, and then we solve the entire circuit again. In a nutshell, with the BJT linear model, we solve the circuit. If IB is uh, not positive, the BJT is in cutoff mode. If that current is positive, then we compute VCE and check that that VCE is um, less or equal to 0.2 volts and the BJT is in saturation. Otherwise, the BJT is operating as an amplifier. It is in its linear zone of operation, in linear mode. And with this, we end the review of the essential facts from the lecture. And now, we move on to the actual tutorial.